That's right, Katie. I'm here with famed archaeologist Nick Topodopoulos. Mr. Topodopoulos, can you tell us what you found so far? So far, I have found a few rocks and lots of dirt. That's interesting. Uh, wait. Wait. We What's might have a development. Bag doing here? Wait. What is this? Mr. Topodopoulos has found something. He, he's pulling it out of the dirt. It, it seems to appear to be some kind of videotape. It, it says Nova? Is that Nova video? What? He's opening the bag. He's reaching in. He's pulling out. It, it, in fact, it is. It's a videotape. What, what kind of tape is it, sir? I think it's Pythagoras. Pythagoras? There's no known, there is no known record of that man ever. Wait, Mr. Topodopoulos, are you getting this? Yes, sir. Are, are, are you, Mr. Topodopoulos, seriously, is this? It, yes, it's a Pythagoras tape. Well, that's enough evidence for me, I'm hooked. As you can see, Mr. Topodopoulos here has discovered the only known record of the great Pythagoras, the man who gave us Pythagorean theorem, obviously. Mr. Uh, Topodopoulos, why don't you follow us inside? <laughs> no, right, you silly uh, Mr. Pythagoras. Yes. <laughs> We're on camera. <laughs> yes. To all you ladies out there, it's I, Pythagoras. Hmm. As some of you don't know, I was born to the father of Mersarchus, my mother, Pythaeus. Yes, I am from Samos, tiny island by Greece. I was taught by some of the greatest philosophers of all time. I was taught under, I was given the teachings of the Chaldeans and the learned men of Syria. I then went on to study. Ah, yes. I studied in Thales as a pupil of Alexander, who lived in Miletus. He certainly was interested in geometry, you know, shapes and circles and whatnot, and cosmology and the stars, and he influenced my views very much so, yes. Around 535 BC, give or take, I went to Egypt. While I was in Egypt, I, what did I do? Ah, I learned more geometry from the Egyptians. But as you already know, I learned geometry from Alex Mender. Then there was war with Egypt and Cambyses the second, the king of Persia. Ah, the king of Persia. Egypt, Egypt lost. That's all I have to say, Egypt, Egypt lost. I was taken prisoner to Babylon with the Babylonians. And in about 520 BC, I returned to my homeland of Samos from Babylon. But Nowhere it's explained how Pythagoras obtained his, I mean, where I obtained my freedom. Yes. Shortly afterwards, I journeyed to Crete, studied a system of laws there. Good laws, those laws, habeas corpus and laissez-faire and whatnot. Principles of democracy, you should look into it, yeah. Um, I found a school called the Semicircle. Yes, the semicircle. And outside the city, I had my own private site with all my philosophical teaching. Or private site where I did all my philosophical teaching. Spending most of the night and daytime there doing research into the uses of mathematics because you can't go wrong with mathematics. I then went to southern Italy in 518 BC. Clears out. Stop it. Three. And while there, 
I founded a philosophical and religious school in Croton. I was the head of a secret society. I had an inner circle known as the Mathematicoid, hint, hint math. We lived permanently within the society. We had no personal possessions and we were vegetarians. I taught them myself and we obeyed strict rules. I held many beliefs, some of which are that at its deepest level, reality is mathematical in nature. The soul can rise to union with the divine. And that all brothers of the order should observe strict loyalty and secrecy. Yeah. Surprisingly, both men and women were permitted to become members of my society. In fact, several of my Pythagorean women became famous philosophers. Famous. My outer circle of the society were known as the Acousmaticus. They lived in their own houses, only coming to my society during the day. They were allowed their own possessions and were not required to be vegetarians. Cut it, TJ, real quick. Three. Even though, as you might have heard, that my school practiced communalism, everyone knows that my work is more distinguishable than any of my followers. And you might know me for my piece de resistance, my Pythagorean theorem, which everyone knows is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That is on the triangle. For you see, I'm the man who triangulated the triangle. Yes, it was me. I know, it's brilliant. Finally, I would like to go. But unfortunately, as you know, entropy took its toll. My secret society in Croton was utterly destroyed by a man named Cylon, a noble from Croton itself. I barely escaped. I went to Metapontium. Metapontium. Yes, Metapontium. We all know where that is. Yes. Or sadly, I died there. I, I know it's sad. I. It's so hard to say. I, I committed suicide. The women love my a squared plus d squared equals c squared. Actually, Mr. Pythagoras, is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. HA! Mr. Tadopoulos, I knew it. You're a fraud. Actually, I've known this for quite a while. I just found out that Mr. Tadopoulos here is not an archaeologist at all. He's actually a crazed, insane mathematician who recently escaped from the Red River State Hospital. Do you have anything to say for your actions today, Mr. Top? Darn it. I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for those pesky kids. One. Well, I guess that's how the cookie crumbles. This is Chad Chimichanga reporting with News Camera Live. One. Like, Mr. Top. Oh, Mr. Oh, sorry. Retake. Oh. Mr. Tabadopoulos. What, what Mr. Mr. Tabadopoulos. So, Mr. Tabadopoulos, how do you. Mr. 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 Tabadopoulos. <laughs> oh my god! Chad Jimmy Chonga! Chad Jimmy Chonga's gay!